What's up, what's up? So we driving, boy. Had to go uh, watch the wife give her speech and uh, see how it goes, man. It's the 29th of Shun. I hope everybody's having a good week already. Uh, we're gonna try to get a little vlog action popping off hopefully I get some uh, some footage today so that you guys can kind of see how my normal work day goes and see what's up you know ain't nothing special man it's just Luke Air Force Base it ain't nothing going on man it's just it's just a normal day in the heat you know I got the Compton hat in the window just so they know who it is but uh yeah welcome to fighter country and you know, pretty much that's just that's just my normal my normal day to day, man. Go to work. Go to work, make gains, and do the best I can to be the best NCO I can possibly be. Because at the end of the day, you have to be able to impact people's lives. Not only on YouTube and not only on you know fancy posts. But you have to make sure that you're doing it throughout the day in your job. And my main job as a non-commissioned officer in the United States Air Force is to make sure that I'm cultivating a, an environment that people can grow to do better, to be better, and to make my airmen better. If I can't do that, I'm pretty much a dirtbag NCO. And that's my goal daily, you know, is to make sure that I give a proper example of how things are supposed to be done with a, with respect, of course. There are some times where, you know, even in, in, in every job, but mostly in the military, it, it's, my, it's some of those things where you just got to shut up in color and being an NCO, some stuff, some stuff just gets just gets thrown at you and you have to do it and it's the nature of the beast you know you, sometimes you have to shut up in color sometimes you have to kind of stand your ground sometimes you have to completely say no and kind of take kind of take the, 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 the consequences of that but as long as you do it with respect, with tact, and you have a reason for saying no, you have a reason for, you know, kind of not not following orders to a certain extent, to a certain extent, to a certain extent. I'm not saying go out there if, you know, they tell you go pick up trash, you tell them no because it's against your values to pick up trash. They tell you to do weeds and seeds. You don't want to go pull weeds because it's hot outside. You're under contract took an oath and everything that's that encompasses that is in that oath you know um, but really it's just setting that positive example it's some stuff I'll go home and I just I, I just I kind of vent because it makes no sense whatsoever however I still need to have that positive that positive image to my airmen and let them know that hey Everything is not, you know, rainbows and bunnies. Sometimes it sucks, but that's the nature of the business that we're in. You know, if I'm around other NCOs and we kind of had like-minded conversations about leadership and about certain decisions that were made, um, you know, uh, you, 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 you kind of bend into your peers, but always be careful what you say. Always be careful, you know, that the, the ears that are around you. You don't want to taint younger NCOs that just got the stripe or just got the rank, and you know they're like, "Oh, I can't do this. I'm out," and they head for the hills. You want to again, you know, perception is key. 
and you have to make sure that you're putting off the right vibes, man. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you. So, almost to the school, and I'm going to record it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we in here. So, made it to campus, Estrella Mount N Community College, to watch the wife do her end of the session presentation. Should be pretty good. She's a little nervous. But we'll make sure we get it on camera. See all the students walking around? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we're going to transition to the speech and get it done. I was in high school just like you were many years ago. I decided that I wanted to join the United States Air Force. Didn't have a plan B. Wasn't thinking about going to college once I graduated. All I had my heart set on was joining the military. And guess what? I did that. I graduated early through many obstacles of being in the hospital, not knowing how I was going to get to the military because I came from a poor income home. But as you can see, there's my uniform. You see, I'm not in that today. That one dream, that one passion, that one goal I had was snatched away from me in three and a half years. I got a letter in the mail that says in six months you're going home. Why? Because you are non-deployable. I could not be sent out to the field. Why? Because I was having seizures. They had no purpose for me. There was no point in me being there. You would think that that would stop me, that my dreams were just gone and I wouldn't continue. According to my mother, she used to tell me, you have a big heart, so be careful to guard it because people might not understand that. So what did I do? I took that and I said, okay, I can't be in the military. That's fine. I know I'm still supposed to help people. I'm going to become a nursing student. That's what that uniform is for. I got into a program in Duke University, and then before he was my husband, my husband told me, guess what, you're going to move back to Idaho. I'm going to do what? I start school in like three weeks. You can start out here. Okay, fine. Now, most people would have given up. I didn't. So I'm going to tell you why. There's a quote from Dr. Eric Thomas that says, when you find your why, you'll find a way to make it happen. Now, a lot of you may not know your why, but I'm going to help you through that process. So, first, a seed is planted. There's something that interests you. There's something that motivates you. There's something that you can't let go. That's your why. Now, I like to compare it to having a baby. As you can see, that's what I'm doing bacon and nothing. The first trimester, your body's trying to figure out what to do with this thing that's introduced. Your goal is to figure out, okay, how am I going to use my purpose to impact people? What am I going to do with this? Why am I even wasting my time? Because you're going to have people tell you, you can't do that. Look at you. Look at the color of your skin. You can't do that. You're a female. You can't do that. Your family's poor. Those sleepless 
nights, those giving up meals, is it worth it? And if you say, you know what, it is worth it. Why? Because I want to make a difference. I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what my purpose is. Yes, it's well worth it. There's a quote from the Bible that I like that is from 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10 that says, If a man does not work, he does not eat. So guess what? You don't put in the time and effort. You don't put in the long hours. You don't put in doing all the things that you need to do. You, you won't be the reward. Your wife's not going to fall out the sky and say, Here you go. Now go do what you need to do. doesn't work like that. You have to take the time to invest in yourself. You are your biggest cheerleader. Nobody is going to be behind you 110% of the time to say, you can do it. There's always going to be someone that's going to doubt you. But guess what? You use that doubt as fuel. You pump yourself up. You say, okay, that's fine. But guess what? I'm going to prove you wrong. Why? Because I know this is what I'm meant to do. I know this is my purpose here on this earth. If you don't, if you don't feel that from the top of your head down to your toes, then it ain't going to work for you. So you have to have that self-motivating talk to say, okay, I know this is hard, but I'm going to make it through it. My wife, because I saw statistics from a global level study that said 68.8 million children will die by the age of five in the years of 2016 to 2013. 68.8 million. Why do I care about that number? I only have one kid. It doesn't matter to me. Because that's a mom and a dad who won't get to spend their life watching their child grow up. Why do I care? Because I have a nurturing spirit. I know what my purpose is. I know that I was put here on this earth to help people, to help them grow in whatever manner that may be. So what I want you to take away from this is for you to remember. First you figure out your why. And don't let anyone take that from you. Because at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to work hard for that. And when it's all said and done, nobody can say, well, I gave you this or I helped you do this. No, you worked your butt off and you overcame those obstacles. So, find your why. Find your passion. Apply it to your everyday life. If it's your true why, then you'll be able to use it in any and every aspect of your daily living. So when someone tells you you can't do something, or when someone asks, why are you doing it? Just remember, because I know my passion. I know what I'm supposed to do. I know who I am, and I know where I'm going. Steve Jobs says that you only become great at doing what you love. So love what you do. If you love what you do, it won't seem like work. Remember, your why cannot be taken from you. You find that yourself. I hope this inspires you. And let's go find it I just did her speech. Did an amazing job. Thanks. Of course, you know I'm gonna do the edit to make the and make the make, and pop it up on YouTube. Cause we out here blogging, baby. You know we gotta make sure we gotta get everything on a camera. But yep, yeah, inside the campus, going back to work to do absolutely nothing because other stuff to do today. But yeah. Good job, honey pie. Thank you. Good job. Good job, Otto. And we out.